Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today is another awesome day and we are receiving the perfect will of the Lord, the perfect prophetic word that comes from the Lord. And the Lord says that you are an inspiration for many. Praise the Lord and receive this prophetic word because this is going to change your life. When the Lord himself says that you are an inspiration for many people. That means you are something in the kingdom of God. You hold a role in the kingdom of God. And that is a real good news. Because now the Lord says you have become an encouragement for others. Because you've been through all that you have gone through. Up till now you have been asking the Lord, why me? Oh Lord, why me? Why this has happened to me and not with the neighbors? Not with him, not with, him, not with her. But why only with me? But today, my beloved one, the Lord says, I have come to give you an answer for the same. And this answer is also an answer for those who have grieved your heart, those who have hurt you. The answer is also for those who had rebuked you, those who had thrown you, removed you out of their houses. The answer is that you have become an inspiration for many and that is for the kingdom of God you are going to save souls in the name of Jesus being led by the Holy Spirit you have become an inspiration for the same mother who never loved you but today you are an inspiration for her you have become an inspiration for the same father who called you useless but today you are an inspiration for the same father. The same brother who told you, leave my house. You have in become an inspiration for the same brother. Now you do not need them. But now they need you. And that is what the Lord's glory all about. He changes the situation. He turns it upside down. And today I, the Lord, have come to give you my glory, my inspiration to you my word of encouragement to you so that it shall be done through you for many i give it to you so that you shall give it to your neighbors the neighboring lady who is suffering since a long time and you are not able to ignore her but today i give you the spirit of encouragement the word of encouragement the word of inspiration so that you shall go ahead and give it to her the man who lives in the neighborhood, he is all alone, old man in the house. He is in the wooden house, he is left alone. And I can see the logs of wood in the right hand side of his house. So if this man is, this old man is nearby your house, then this prophecy, this word, word is for you. You have become an inspiration for the same old man who had long time before had told you to leave his home because of his arrogance and that time you had the book of prophecy the bible in your hand but today my beloved one says the lord the time has passed 19 years from now it is the 19th year for you and it shall come to pass you have become an inspiration for him you have inspiration in your heart for your mother-in-law. Give it to her. You have an inspiration in your mind, being led by the Holy Spirit. Because now I have transformed you wholly. You love her. You love her. Even when she hated you, you love her. Because you love her daughter, who is your beloved one. So you love your siblings. Your siblings never loved you. They never accepted you, but you love them. You are an inspiration for those who hate the world. You are an inspiration for the war makers because now you are the peacemaker. You are the true ambassador of peace. You are the true angel of God. You are the true one who is serving the Lord. You are an inspiration, says the Lord. Today I have come to give you more of it, more of the benefits of the kingdom of God, more so that you can inspire more. 
You went through all the wrongdoings and you were forgiven. You went through all the bad, wicked things of the world and still you were left alone. But today I have come to hug you and embrace you so that you shall learn from the wrongdoings and you will give a word to others. Turn your ways from the wicked things. You are going to be an inspiration for all the evildoers so that you will shower your love upon them. For you know the wickedness of the world is against the glory of the Lord. And you shall serve the Lord. In helping others, you shall help the Lord when you help others. Because you have now received the help. You are an inspiration for those who help one another to seek their own benefit. Because today you have learned to help unconditionally in a hidden manner. You help, but you do not lie. You help, but you do not tie. You help, but you do not die. You help, but you do not seek your own glory, says the Lord. And that is an inspiration for many. The world will come and ask about you. How come this man helps others lovingly? From where is this compassion-filled heart found in him? You are the beloved one, the sheep of the Lord. Tell those who have hated you, their hatred shall be put to shame. Because you are an inspiration for many, you are inspiration for the hatred, so that the hatred will bow down and will be put to shame and will turn its ways. You are the beloved one of the Lord, says the Lord. You have the spirit of the living God. And now you are the spirit of the living God. You are the spirit, says the Lord. And the spirit is always the spirit of inspiration, the spirit of encouragement, the spirit of uplifting, the spirit of edifying. All those who have been drowned, you are going to pull them out and you are going to help them rise up, says the Lord. You are going to build a mansion for the kingdom of God. It is you who inspires others, pleases the Lord. It is the encouragement that goes through you, inspires many. The riches of the world shall also come at your feet if you are the one who inspires for the glory of the Lord. The riches of the world shall bow down in front of the Lord. It is in front of the Lord that all the things are kept. All the things bow down. All the wickedness bows down. All the evil ways bows down. All the spirits of wickedness they bow down in front of the Lord. To help you rise up. To help you go to the next level. So that you can take many along with you. You are the leader, says the Lord. You are the leader of inspiration. Oh, woman of God, you are in the leadership now. Bring them home, says the Lord. Let's have a beautiful home, sweet home. Filled with a new glory, new anointing. New passion in the kingdom of God. Let there be glory all over. Let there be no shame, no torture, no grievances, no sorrows, no tears, no trouble. It is not because of you. It is because of the power of the Holy Spirit. It is not because of your power. It is not because of your might, but only because of the presence of the Holy Spirit. Now you are doing it, says the Lord. You were not able to do that earlier. You were a broken vessel. But look at the Lord. He prepared you. He healed you. He sealed all the cracks in you. The potter knows how to prepare you so that you shall be filled. The pottery is now in its glory, ready to be filled with the new inspiration, with the new anointing, with the new glory. You were not the same earlier. But now, whatever you have gone through, you have gone through for his glory. So my beloved ones, if you are still regretting your past, come into your presence, says the Lord. Come into your holiness, says the Lord. 
So look at yourself. You are brand. You are renewed. You are a new good girl. You are a new good boy. You are in your new clothing. The clothing of salvation. The clothing of inspiration. The clothing of edification. The clothing of unity. The clothing of fearless love. The clothing of boldness. The clothing of compassion that you are wearing shall not be seen anywhere. It belongs to you. You are the unique inspiration, says the Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord Jesus Christ, for the perfect anointing that we have. The inspiration that comes through you through the Holy Spirit is pure and holy and we receive it now. So my beloved ones, let's pray so that we may receive this perfect word of inspiration. The anointing of inspiration is upon us right now. Let's receive it. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence to our Lord Jesus Christ. And we pray for the salvation of the beloved ones. We bring them all into your holy presence. Let the spirit of inspiration touch them right now. Let them know that they are an inspiration for many. They were inspired so that they may inspire many. Whatever they have gone through is bygones. Let the grievances, the wickedness, the bitterness, the hatred of their heart be gone now. Cast it out in Jesus' name. Fill them up with your glory of inspiration, O Lord Jesus Christ. Bring them to the level, O Lord Jesus Christ, which you have planned for them because they are your beloved ones, your chosen ones. We receive this anointing of inspiration. We receive it. Touch them, Holy Spirit. Touch them, O Lord Jesus Christ. Let them receive you. And all the obstacles in between this receival, I bind you and I cast you out right now in Jesus' name. So that inspiration may flow into the blood veins, into the bone marrow. We ask you these prayers in the name of Jesus. Amen. My beloved ones, the anointing of the Lord is hovering upon us. If you have felt the touch, like I am receiving it, I am in the presence of the Holy Spirit. The spirit of inspiration is upon me and the spirit of inspiration is upon you as well. If you are receiving it, keep on receiving it. Say, I receive you into my bone marrow. Do not let it go. Grab it. Grab it. Say, I receive it. Do not let the inspiration go away from you today. Because you shall be an inspiration for many with this perfect anointing that comes to our Lord Jesus Christ. With the help of this anointing, you are going to help others. You are going to become a blessing for others. You shall not cry anymore. You shall wipe the tears of others. You will become a blessing for many. Even those who have hated you, you are going to be a blessing for them all. This is a totally good, good, good anointing that we are going to receive to show them, those who have heard us, that our Lord Jesus Christ loves us and he loves them as well. My beloved ones, if you are receiving this Holy Spirit, this holy anointing, the touch of the Holy Spirit, then comment it in the comment box below so that others shall also receive this prophetic word, this holy anointing of inspiration. And with this anointing, they shall serve the Lord zealously. My beloved ones, always subscribe, like, share, comment, receive your daily prophetic word because this spiritual food is important for you. In your day-to-day -day life, in the spiritual realms, as well as in the materialistic realms, it is going to be a blessing for you. My beloved ones, all your prayers shall be answered in the name of Jesus. Email it to them and write it to them in the offering, in the remarks. Write your prayer request in the comments because we'll pray, we'll lay our hands on them and we'll pray zealously so that the kingdom of God shall be within you. My beloved ones, receive this spiritual anointing, receive this perfect inspiration, 
Praise the Lord and remain blessed. Write your testimonies in the comment box below for the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Share the gospel of truth for encouraging others by sharing the videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for glorifying our Lord Jesus Christ by receiving the prophetic messages, prophetic prayers, prophetic preaching, prophetic deliverance, prophetic healing, and salvation that belongs to our Lord Jesus Christ. A humble seed of even dollar one can unblock your most awaited miracle. Prabhas Ministries prays for your deliverance, healing, salvation. We pray prophetically worldwide.